Hello my friends, my name is Steve Muni with Steve Muni Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat and share my knowledge on anything boating. Let's get into the news. Uh, it's kind of a holiday. Uh, banks, the market is closed today, so we're not gonna look at that. We'll look at it Monday. Let's go right into the news. And it looks like we left off. Okay, we left off here. Chaparral and Rabalo parent company Marine Products Corp donate a shipment of hundreds of N95 masks to nursing homes and three hospitals in rural southern Georgia. That's very nice of you. Read more about it if you want to. <clears throat> Ohio stands up for its boaters and anglers. Anglers from more than a half a dozen states have been pouring into boat ramps along northwest Ohio's portion of Lake Erie in recent weeks. Why? because they've been taking advantage of the abundance of walleye that packed the western end of the lake during spring spawn, spawn, spawning. And that is what a walleye looks like. Um, it's, it's, it's like Ohio's fish. Um, is it Ohio's the unofficial state fish <laughs> unofficial okay um okay mass confusion for marine dealers the marine retailers association of america is urging marine dealers to keep discussion open with local legislators to help make sense of distancing guidelines and shutdowns in states that have um impose them so this is about uh, this this should be a good article if you're if you're interested in knowing um, what might be come of our industry an overhaul at the NMMA so we talked about this already but I guess somebody else is writing about it the National Marine Manufacturers Association is moving most of its staff to short work weeks laying off 23 staff members and reducing compensation you know because of this virus if you want to know more about it, you can find out more. I'm sure when things get back, they'll rehire. Things will get back to normal. Massive string-like creature discovered in the deep sea. Interesting. Scientists on a research vessel of Western Australia discovered what looks like a giant mass of string, but it's actually a living creature. You can, you can <laughs> uh, read up more about that. Um, marine electronics installers and technicians um so this this company young's electronics looks like they want to hire we're looking to expand our team with immediate openings for marine electronics installers and technicians check them out they're in the massachusetts southern massachusetts cape cod area saying thank you so this company here voyage charters is offering a drawing for a free charter trip exclusively for covid 19 frontline worker aboard one of their yachts in the british virgin islands check it out uh that sounds interesting i don't know what what you have to do to get in but check it out Brother, sister, team behind CETO reflect for National Siblings Day. I guess um, you can read about that if you're a big fan of CETO. Um, yeah. Video, it says video, correct craft and correct craft and Brunswick help out in the fight against COVID-19. So it looks like they've gone together, both large marine industry companies, several, several brands and plants nationwide have jumped into the fight against COVID-19, um, providing personal protective equipment and offer manufacturing support during the global pandemic. You can read up about that. That's very nice of them. Marine Matt named Robbie Weldon as general manager this week. <laughs> Congratulations. Founded in 2014, manufactures EVA traction mats um very nice congratulations wanda i know wanda i've met her a few times i don't know if she remembers me probably pr 
Probably, probably not. Uh, what appeared to be a promising year based on early season boat show attendance, orders and consumer confidence came to a crashing slide in many parts of the world with the uh, advent and rapid spread of coronavirus. So if you want to understand, she's been doing, she's been in this industry for a long time, so she knows her stuff. If you want to learn more, get her thoughts, read the article. Install a remote control spotlight on a boat. I like remote control spotlights. Um, you can put them on the hardtop. You can put them on the front of the bow near the anchor. Um, you could not have them. Um, what are they used for? For and I'm talking to the new boaters, not the guys that know. Um, what is a spotlight? It's just a big, big um, spotlight <laughs> that shines so bright. You do not want to look into this thing. Um, and at night, you shine it, and you would think you want to shine it all over the place, but you shouldn't be just turning it on the whole time. You want to turn it on when you want to find something only. And specifically, when you the, the green and red markers on the water the ICW, the Intercoastal Waterway, you want to shine on them because they're reflective. So when you shine the spotlight, it'll reflect back and you can see where you're going. Now, everybody has GPS now uh, and radars and FLIRs, so you kind of don't need a spotlight, but it re it is really helpful to have a spotlight. Another thing is if something falls in the water or if you want to look at what's over the water at night, it's really, really pitch black. So. Um, you can't really see anything in the water. So the spotlight does that. Okay, now if you want to know how to install one, this is a great um, article and my boy Jim Hendrix uh, goes into it. So, um, okay, these two articles are about the same fish. Same, same I think it's salt water. Um, so it's this all about dolphin. Now, dolphin, mahi or dorado. Did you know that if somebody's talking about let's go dorado fishing, they're talking about dolphin fishing or they're talking about mahi mahi and when you order mahi mahi, that is a dolphin or a dorado. So it doesn't matter. It's all the same word. Um, and you can check out, dang, uh, you can check out the uh, article. Wow, some nice shots here. Wow. Yeah. That's these are this is a cool article. If you like that, check it out. And then they write another one. California Dorado fishing. Maybe in California they say Dorado, they don't say dolphin. Um I don't think it's a different species. They look exactly like dolphin, Mahi Mahi dolphin. Um Look at that. Uh, they show you, they show you uh, how to use the outriggers. You see these these poles, these outrigger poles. So if you want to if you want to have more lines in the water, you would have um, these outriggers here um, come out, and they give you the option to have more lines in the water. And more lines in the water means more chances of catching a fish. So is it cheating? I don't think so. Um, just gives you a couple more, you know. It's actually not cheating. If anything, you gotta learn how to use them. So if you're really good at it, why not? I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna do it for the first time, it's not that simple. There's a lot to it. So um, it's a sport. Let's see. They're really cool, cool fish with beautiful colors. I mean, look at that. And they change color due to stress? Is it stress? Is it like they'll change color, like you'll catch them and then like 20, 30 minutes later, they're like a completely different color. Um, somebody could comment why, I don't, I'm not gonna look it up, but we might hit that later, another time. The Regulator 24XO First Glance Regulator Marine has added a second crossover bay boat model to its lineup with this 24 footer. Let's check this boat out. This is the boat. Introducing the 24XO 
Adventure comes standard. I like how they inter they're they're combining uh, a real real pictures with like with is it a real I think it's a just yeah 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 sorry I thought it was a I thought it was like real picture over like a drawing or something that would have been cool but no um, this looks nice they give you a lot of detail here um, the site's nice oh you can get some videos should we should we let's play it Yeah, regular is nice. Regular is nice. Okay, great. Uh, next, stepping out into style, wooden boats, forty classic. Um, if you like wooden boats, the brand is wooden boats. Um, they have the WB forty classic, and they talk about it there. Okay, limo afloat. This was interesting. I actually have seen these. So it's the limo tender. That's the 32 1L. Uh, innovative and unique haul offering smooth and fast cruising. It's like a limousine in the water. Look at that. It's long. It's comfortable. It looks interesting. Maybe it gets you from point A to point B. You're out of the sun. You know, you're out of the elements. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. What else? Yeah, so your captain takes you out. You know, you've got a little place up in the front. It looks pretty comfortable. Yeah. So, what else we got? What What's powering this this uh, this boat? Does it say? Well, it says 270 horsepower, uh, two two engines, inboard. They don't say the. Did they? Did they just miss it? No, I don't know what's powering it, but um, I'm sure you can find out more. Anyways, that's the boat. And the last article is about um, fishing leaders and the difference between them. Um, you could read about that. Okay, under 15 minutes, yes! My name is Stephen Muniv with Steve Muniv Yacht Sales and my goal is to help you find a boat, sell your boat, and share my knowledge on anything boating. You can always connect with me through phone, email, or any of my social media channels. I'll see you on the water. You've earned it. Yes, I want to try to get these videos under 15 minutes. The goal should be like five minutes, unless we're doing a reaction video. But show.